This is probably going to horrify my mother, my grandmother, every dietitian in the world. But my working day often means that I have to skip lunch or eat on the run. So when work called and said that I had an assignment where I get to sit down and eat, I was thrilled. And I was even more thrilled to find out that my host would be Dina Naidu. How are we doing on this? Dina Naidu decided to break with conventional wisdom when he took time out from being an IT specialist to demonstrate his culinary skills to a panel of experts and a spellbound audience. By the end of the series, he was the winner and was poised to begin his career as a restaurant owner. Having checked that all was well in the kitchen, Dina was waiting to welcome Zaki to his upmarket Josie venue. Dina! Hi! <laughs> It's so good to meet you. Oh, finally get to meet you. Great. Do you want to take a seat? Thank you. Dina, I'm dying to know, you're juggling two full-time jobs. You run your own restaurant and you're in IT. How do you manage? You've got to realize it's 24 hours in a day and you need to use the 24 hours most optimally. So basically, a little bit of time management and you prioritize what needs to be done. Oh, it's a phenomenal journey that I still uh, live every day. Uh, I've been cooking since I was six years old. Not to realize that one day I would enter into a competition uh, where you judge the best South African amateur chef and be lucky and blessed enough to win it. A part of your prize was winning your very own restaurant. We've experienced phenomenal success since opening and I am really, really blessed in the sense that uh, I am supported by those who have watched and supported me on MasterChef. Dina, I have to warn you, I've only had a block of cheese for breakfast, so I am starving. I can't wait to cook. I'm glad to hear that you are hungry, so uh, let's start cooking. The meal would be al fresco in more ways than one. So, we've set up a remote uh, kitchen outside of Aria because we have a bustling uh, breakfast going out there. With, with, you know, we've got a crowd <laughs> for breakfast this morning. I thought about doing a uh, fresh summery salad uh, using a papaya, a green purple. The, you may not identify it in this uh, form because I had removed all the peels and uh, this is how a green purple would look if you had to peel it. So I'm going to allow you now to uh, julienne it Perfect. using the separator. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. So I want to know, do you ever apply your IT experience to running a restaurant or cooking? Undoubtedly, yes. Yeah, there's a phenomenal amount of discipline and time management uh, that's involved in the IT field. So my years of experience in that particular field really helped me to use that discipline in, in, in the restaurant. I think that's enough. Uh, <laughs> I think we have enough. Then. Uh, so w while that is done, I will prepare the most important of the ingredients, okay. the actual salad dressing that goes with this. Cool, how do we do that? Okay, so we take about uh, three cloves of garlic together with some chili, mm -hmm. a bit of shrimp paste, Okay, if you can pound those ingredients. Well done, wow. So a little bit of palm sugar. Amazing. For the sweetness itself. What do you enjoy most about being a chef and a restaurant owner? Interacting with people, you know, I meet and greet so many people every night and each one of them has their own unique story to tell and share with me because they feel as if they know me. Some fish sauce, brilliant. Dina, what is your culinary style? You know, I really celebrate being South African uh, in my cooking style uh, because we have some phenomenal chefs uh, and even greater ingredients to, uh, you know, to give to the world to experience. I am getting a workout here. Well, no one said cooking was easy. <laughs> so basically, you, you bruise the uh, green bean and it's, <laughs> and it's now time to taste. I just have to bruise it lightly. <laughs> Amazing, let's have a taste. Whoa. Oh. What's next? Now we need to assemble the salad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Try and distribute the popo and just, uh, you know, move it across the plate. Okay, we we'll bring in the carrots for color. Look at this color. It's brilliant. Add basil. I'm just going to tear the basil onto it. Some roasted peanuts. Yeah, lovely. That's good. Zaki, do the honors. Sprinkle sparingly yet uniformly. 
a bit of coriander. Thank you. Just break them over. A bit of uh, green onion, scallions. Okay. This time you don't use your hands because it's red chili. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Looks good. Now to add the steamed prawns. Mm -hmm. All that's left to be done is to add this beautiful mm, dressing that you've part. childishly made. <laughs> and uh, if you allow me to do that. Please do. And there you have it, Dina's green purple salad. So for our main dish, what have we got? We are cooking a Durban-inspired prawn curry. If I could go through the ingredients, we have oil, we have black mustard seed, we have onion, We've got a bit of black pepper, ginger and garlic paste, a bit of green chili for the heat, a bit of uh, chili powder. Mm -hmm. We're actually using some turmeric for color and right at the end, some garam masala. And obviously, because it's a tomato and onion based uh, dish, so we're using a lot of tomato puree. So let's start cooking. A bit of oil. In we go with black mustard seed, a bit of green chili and bit of the tomato paste and we need to fry off the tomato paste. Ginger. Garlic. Mm. Turmeric powder. Mm, it's a lot of curry powder. Why not? Black pepper. Whoa, beautiful smells. and then I'm gonna put some chopped coriander. This smells phenomenal. When do the prawns go in? They go in right now. Mm -hmm. okay, and, okay, right, let me do that. Thank you very much. Okay, we're just about done. It's time to add the garam masala right at the end. Why? Okay, because garam masala is not a masala that you cook well. It's more of a flavor enhancing ingredient more than anything I else. Did not it's know a seasoning that. rather than, okay. a, than a spice. The prawn is done when it turns sort of pinkish red in color. You mean now? Absolutely, right now. <laughs> Quick taste for seasoning. You do the honors. I'll do the honors. Mm. Can I eat it off the wall? No. Sakia, you take a seat, I'll plate it for you, and I'll meet you at the table. I'm such a piggy, I'll see you oh, now. It's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you very much. Thank Hope it tastes even better. I'm sure it will. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bongani. Thank you. Brilliant too. Where to from here? I would really, really want to open up uh, a restaurant in Durban, extend the brand, uh, you know, because Durban has been my home for so many years. Dina, thank you so much for this amazing spread. It's been my pleasure. Let's eat. While spice plays a defining role in Dina's cooking, it's always used to enhance and focus on the core flavors. And his style reflects South Africa's cultural diversity and links to the East. I am absolutely stuffed. Dina is definitely living his dream. He's transitioned from an amateur cook to a professional chef, and he goes to show that if you can dream it, you can achieve it.